My Prime Mais Minister, will the people of Ottawa get their streets back by the weekend? Will the people of Ottawa get their streets back by the weekend, Prime pour, Minister? C'est pour quand l'intervention de la police d'Ottawa ou des autres forces policières ici, d'après votre compréhension? C'est pas euh, la, le, le call du premier ministre. C'est pas moi qui décide quand la police va intervenir. Nous, ce qu'on a fait avec euh, la loi sur les mesures d'urgence, c'est de donner les outils aux forces policières. La police d'Ottawa, en travaillant avec le OPP et euh, la GRC, de, de faire le suivi avec les outils qu'ils ont, avec le plan qu'ils sont en train de développer. Et évidemment, comme tous les résidents d'Ottawa, j'espère que ce sera bientôt. Est-ce que ça devrait well, être appliqué à Gatineau? Ce n'est pas pour les politiciens de dire aux policiers quand et comment faire des choses. Ce que nous avons fait avec l'Emergency Act, c'est d'assurer que les policiers de la juridiction ont les outils nécessaires dans une façon de mesurer et de façon limitée pour pouvoir mettre ensemble le plan et enforcer la loi, ce qui est quelque chose que je, comme tous les résidents d'Ottawa, espère que ça va se passer bientôt. Do you have the vote, sir? Do you have the votes to get this act through? That's uh, what the exciting thing about Parliament is, is we have an opportunity to discuss these things. But like I said, these are responsible, time limited, necessary measures to keep protecting Canadians, our economy, uh, and get things back on the road. That's no, Monsieur. has provoked a division and crisis, it's to distract from yet another 30-year high in inflation. Food prices ballooning, gas prices up to a buck 82 a litre in Vancouver. The typical house now costs $836,000, up 25 grand in just one month. Trudeau has provoked this crisis to distract Canadians from his inflation and the economic pain he is causing the people of this country. It's time to put an end to Trudeau's divisions and get to work for Canadians. Est-ce qu'il est temps de mettre fin à ce qui se passe dehors? Est-ce que vous voulez l'intervention des corps policiers pour libérer les rues? Je vais, je vais répéter ce que je viens de dire en anglais, je vais le répéter en français et je vais après ça répondre aux questions. On sait maintenant pourquoi Justin Trudeau a provoqué délibérément cette crise. C'est pour détourner l'attention sur son inflation et la, le tort économique qu'il cause pour les Canadiens. Maintenant, on apprend qu'on a un, encore une autre inflation de 5,1 un record de 30 ans. Le prix de nourriture gonfle. L'essence, c'est 1,62 sous en Colombie-Britannique. Et le coût d'une maison typique est maintenant 836 000, une augmentation de 25 000 dans un mois. Justin Trudeau euh, veut détourner les Canadiens en divisant et en provoquant une crise. Oui, c'est le temps de mettre fin aux crises que Justin Trudeau a provoquées avec ses mesures Uh, qu'il a fait pour attaquer les travailleurs et pour empêcher les gens uh, de travailler. C'est lui qui a causé cette crise, c'est lui qui le rend pire avec uh, uh, son, uh, son approche uh, aujourd'hui. Donc, il faut unir les Canadiens pour retourner au travail et pour rendre la vie abordable pour les Canadiens. Les gens, ce qu'on voit, disent oui. qu'ils manifestent de façon pacifique ici à Ottawa. Êtes-vous d'accord avec eux? Uh, ce que je dis, c'est que uh, Justin Trudeau, a provoqué cette crise pour détourner l'attention. Mon message aux manifestants, c'est quand euh, Justin Trudeau est méchant, répondez avec calme. Quand Justin Trudeau fait des provocations et l'intimidation, répondez par la paix. Est-ce est que, est que, est est que je peux répondre? Montrez aux Canadiens que vous êtes mieux que cet diviseur égoïste. Donc, en, again in English, um, Justin Trudeau has caused this crisis to distract from his inflation and the pain he is causing Canadians in their economic lives. Now, my message to protesters is, when he acts with meanness, and intimidation, you respond with calm and peace. 
Show Canadians that you're better than this divider and this egoist. Come Thank on, you. So great great uh, if I could ask you, um, are you concerned about the Emergencies Act and supporting the Emergencies Act, given the NDP's history with the War Measures Act and, and so on, or is this something that you feel you can support? Well, that's, that's why uh, Jagmeet Singh was measured in how he said we're approaching this whole issue. We're seeking answers in a whole variety of areas. We're making sure that uh, certain elements are, are acceptable and certain elements very clearly are not. We've talked about uh, the impact on, on peaceful uh, demonstrations and we've also talked about the insurance, uh, assurance that um, the, we would not uh, be looking at any type of military force. This is not the War Measures Act, though. This is a, quite a different piece of legislation. And so we're taking it step by step, having the discussions, and are, are concerned, obviously, about uh, some of what we've seen over the last few days. Of course, uh, in Coots, uh, the, those four charges of, uh, of uh, 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 that are serious criminal charges, um, uh, around uh, contemplation of murder are things that need to be need to be thought through. So we're we're taking this um, the way NDP caucuses do, which is uh, looking at each step and being very measured in how we approach this. We also have the ability uh, because. Of, of course, um, the, the way the Emergency Act is structured, 20 members of Parliament uh, can table a motion for revocation. And so uh, the caucus, as Jagmeet Singh set out today, uh, will we'll consider that if we feel that the government is not acting in an appropriate way. So we're being very measured. I do have to step in, unfortunately. Uh, just so. super fast, uh, Mr. Blanchet, another left-leaning party said he couldn't support it. He was concerned that the, the law, once it's been used once, will be used again somewhere else. Any concerns that way? Uh, well, I, I think we're, we all have concerns that comes out of, comes out of coots, and I, I think we have to be very measured and deliberate on how we approach that, and that's that's our approach. That's what Jagmeet Singh set up. Thank, Thank you very much. Minister, what's the latest in Alberta and in Manitoba? Alberta, coots is open, and Emerson hopefully will be open soon. Mr. Miller, do you feel safe walking down Wellington? or? I haven't walked down Ellington. Why not? Oh, well, you've... Why are you asking me that question? You know, you know exactly. Well, there's people out there that are um, illegally blockading par access to Parliament. Um, you know, and y y people shouldn't really worry about a guy that looks like me. There's a lot of people that are racialized. There's uh, a lot of women that have testified that they uh, have feel threatened, have been verbally abused. My wife was accosted in the Rideau Mall a couple weeks ago. So, you Your know, wife was absolutely. What happened? Uh, she was told she was approached by a group of rowdy men and told to take off her mask. And that's something, you know, they closed the mall down a couple hours later. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of people in this city feeling unsafe. There's a lot of people that uh, don't have the privilege that I do that are feeling under assault in their own city. So it's time to end. Look, so, so the right the to protest is, is, is here now. Pardon me? So the Emergency Act has been enacted. and. It looks the exact same as it did yesterday. Uh, what's changed? Yeah, I'm not going to comment on, on, on oper operational procedures of the, the, the police services. Um, I think the basic point in all this is people have a very important right to protest, but go park your truck, come up, um, do whatever you need to do peacefully on the hill, uh, but don't do it this way. And for these guys, it's, it's time to go home. Thanks. Thank you. Craig, are you guys, uh, do you guys feel comfortable walking down Wellington Street today? Uh, well, look, I've just come from the Confederation building up to Parliament Hill, but... Uh, so, uh, what, what's your message to Ottawa residents about to actually walk through this, rather than just walk from... Uh, look, I'd just encourage everybody to be safe. I think it's uh, time for people to keep cool heads, to follow the rules, um, to the extent you can avoid uh, uh, conflict with folks. Uh, I, I think that's appropriate. Uh, obviously, there's been some measures put in place over the last couple of days. I have faith that this is going to make a meaningful difference for the people of Ottawa who've been dealing with an occupation for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I think it's the right path forward, and, and I hope in a short period of time, life will return back to normal. Anyway, I'm late for question period, folks, so i got to go. Thanks. Mr. how are you? So the Emergencies Measures Act has been enacted, and yet we're still hearing honking. We're still seeing protesters everywhere. So what has changed? I think you just, uh, things are being put in place and a plan to try to safely get these people to disperse. The last thing any of us want to see is violence. 
Canadians don't want to see violence either. So we're doing everything we possibly can to send the message, pack up and go home. Or we'll have to do whatever we have to do. And what are your thoughts when you walk past a bunch of little children in a makeshift daycare right at the bottom of the stairs? Boy, I'd like to get into one hell of a fight. That they're using their children as human shields out there to try to keep us from doing our job, which is protecting Canadians. It's disgraceful, and they, they've got to be removed. Thank you. You guys are both MPs. Do you feel safe coming up here? You took different entrances, but I feel... Uh, entrances is always... I feel uh, the PPS provides very good safety for members of Parliament. Have you walked down this street, though? No. How do you think you'd feel if you did? Not certain very welcome. Thank you. I haven't had any problems. Um, I haven't been disturbed at all, but uh, I know that some of my colleagues aren't feeling very safe. We've had those discussions from uh, the caucus, and, and we're trying to work with this incredible PPS um, and the police forces to to make sure that everybody is safe. Are you confident though that police can take a hold of this especially after Chief Foley resigned yesterday and, and residents have been watching this going on for 20 days now. Um, are you optimistic or, or do you see an end coming close? I know that everybody on both sides wants this to to end peacefully. Um, I, I don't think that anybody wants the worst case scenario to happen i certainly don't uh we, we talked about that as well in our in our caucus that we just want everybody to be safe uh and to do what's smart and and uh and just what's in everybody's interest so, so you'll support the emergencies act in, in parliament then we're certainly talking about it in caucus and we want to be able to see everything that's coming forward the government hasn't provided all of the details uh and until we can see all those 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 details because it's the details that matter uh, we're going to still talk about it. Awesome, thank you. All right, thanks guys. Good to see ya. Stay safe too, huh? Yeah.